Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel, where today I have some more World of Tanks action for you. And today's episode is going to be a bit special, because you are about to see something that might be the highest damage battle ever. In a legit way. Well, most definitely it should be the highest damage battle ever for TTF Barn FE4005 Stage 2. A tier 10 turreted British tank destroyer with uh, hash rounds with 183mm boomstick, which is the biggest gun in this game as well on any tank. And I'm not talking about artillerists because we have some artists in this game with over 200mm boomstick, but this one is the biggest on any uh, actual tank not self-propelled guns. And the reason why I said it should be the highest damage battle ever in a legit way is uh, every single player in this battle is actually playing. We have 30 active players because we have a couple replays out here, actually quite a few replays out here with over 16,000, 17, 18, 19 and even over 20,000 damage done battles in random in 15 versus 15 battles like this one over here uh, where where something happened to the servers and most of the player base in that battle got disconnected and if one lucky guy was able to get back first uh, he was able to simply farm the entire enemy team while they were AFK. We have a couple of replays like that out here. If you would like to see some of those battles, some of those replays, uh, let me know in the comments down below. So I guess we cannot call those battles uh, the highest damage battles in a legit way or what do you guys think. But this one is a different one. This one is the legit highest damage battle ever. Okay, uh, enough about that intro. Uh, this battle was played by someone that, once again, I am not able to pronounce sadly, so I have to call you Ivan. Ivan is back in action, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, because this battle was played on the Russian server, so Ivan, all credits to you. IS-7 was put on fire, 1578 damage done, some damage to the assistance and some damage to the fires as well. Everything, every bit of that IS-7's 2400 HP went towards Ivan's assistance or damage done. Well done, not the worst start ever, we have to say. Uh, so object for to you next victim most likely we have some assistance over here as well we have our own 140 and Heshkasm does what Heshkasm does the best 1790 damage done and 432 has been destroyed because ally in the 140 was able to pick up the kill so three shots two penetrations let's see what this guy has to offer next Object 705A, maybe 405, or maybe E50M. Oh, E50M's flat side armor is so juicy and 1675 damage done. And if you want to know why I keep saying all those damage numbers is I want to help you out at home. Maybe you are not able to watch the battle at the moment or maybe you are not able to see the tiny tiny damage numbers over there. So I try to help you out guys. Anyway, that was Ivan's third penetration into the E50M followed by I think what is about to be our fourth penetration. Yes, into the 121. That's silly 121. Where were you before? Didn't you see what just happened to your teammate and the E50M? HP deleted. Almost completely deleted. Object 705A. Okay, now this guy is a bit tougher tank to penetrate. Uh, I think into the upper plate it goes. Yes, uh, no penetration, but still guys, no penetration. 484 damage done. Not bad, I have to say. Not bad for a non-penetrating shot, because 99.9% .9 of the vehicles in this game with uh, standard rounds or with premium rounds, if they do not penetrate, they do not deal any damage whatsoever. But seems like 705A Want some more, want some more Heshkasm. Okay, take that 703 damage, non penetration once again. 900 HP left. Ouch, okay, that kind of hurt. 481 damage received from the enemy IS 7, who was stunned by the way. Was he stunned before as well? I do not remember exactly, but the Russian guns, uh, the more stunned you are, the more accurate you are. Okay, 705A really wants some more action, but. 
Tuesday 77 together with who was that mouse and maybe 705A as well uh, were able to eliminate the threat. Okay, nice. 705A has been destroyed. 183 is moving in together with 140. Leopard 1 is also peaking. Let's see what 183 does. 183 missed, but not Ivan. Ivan was able to hit that shot to no penetration, though. 500 and uh, what was that? 542 damage done. And 140 was able to survive another day. Okay, 277 is one shotable, easy one shot penetration. 183 should be reloaded. Let's see what this guy is going to do. Come on. Ivan is sneaky, sneaky peeking. Those three should provide him enough cover. Okay, 277 is kind of pulling back. 895 HP left on Ivan's FE 405. Still peeking, peeking, come on, quick shot. Nope, not fast enough. 277 was able to nail one shot as well, and no penetration, by the way. 707 damage done, and now Ivan has to pull back, because he was put down to 441 HP, which means, uh, yep, looking at the players left on the enemy side, which means uh, he's a one shot to every single dude, uh, a potential one shot to every single dude left on the enemy side, besides 140. Artillery can easily one shot, one splash, FE-45 to death from that HP, IS-7 has good enough roll, 277, who died, nice job, 140 died as well, so our 705A and 140 did good job. But Ivan's team is still losing this battle, A211 at the moment, uh, plus the enemy team has two artilleries left, we do not have any artilleries. But what we do have is one IS-4 in the platoon. Okay, E4 needs a couple more shots from that IS-4 or one shot from FE-405. Let's see what happens. IS-7, no penetration, 698 damage done, plus tracking and platoon mate was able to pick up the kill. Nice, nice, nice. E4 is rushing to get one shot into the IS-4. There is Gorilla 15 as well. And I know what Ivan is going to aim at. Of course, Ivan is trying to kill that Gorilla 15 with one shot. Let's see if high roll is going to happen and off it goes. No high roll, yet another 1600 roll. So many 1600 rolls actually, which is not super appreciated. But artillery missed at least the first arty because, yep, there is yet another hit from the artillery that puts Ivan down to 11 freaking hit points. He was already super lucky that enemy budget artillery did not penetrate him. 11 hit points left, he's not spotted anymore, so artillery is kind of blind firing at the moment. I don't know if that is the same guy or not, maybe. Nice mouse, uh, Odin in the mouse, was able to pick up 2, 6, 8, and now it is 3 versus 4. Now 140 should go all the way around the map uh, into the enemy base. Uh, to try to deal with um, enemy artillery, because we really need to get rid of those artilleries. This is so unfair at the moment, because uh, if anything gets spotted, enemy team doesn't have to move, or enemy FE-405 and E-4, they do not have to move, artillery can do the cleanup work. What would you do in this position? Would you peek? Uh, I rather wouldn't peek even an inch, because E4 was in the middle of the map before, uh, where Ivan just pinged, uh, so I don't know, maybe he's trying towards us, maybe he went back. Uh, by the way, uh, Ivan has 0% HP left, so Ivan has under 1% HP left. Yep, under 1%. As you can see, in the middle of the screen from the HUD as well. Okay, so Commander has been patched up, uh, fixed up, is back in action. The mouse is moving in. Mouse maybe is going to spot that E4. Uh, the good news is that this mouse is still at full HP somehow. We are almost 10 minutes in action and Mouse is still at full HP. This is something you do not see too often, but he has been in the RT Shadow for almost the entire battle. He has been doing good job with keeping his HP, I guess. So 140 is moving in. 140 can be a potential one shot to both guys, uh, to FE405 and E4. So he has to be kind of sneaky. He has to be uh, as sneaky as possible. 
here it is. Uh, Ivan is going to support him. Or he's trying to support him at least. Uh, so far nothing has been spotted. And ooh, FE45 was spotted. Not by 140. Oh yes, Mouse has lost some HP. So most likely Mouse spotted that FE45. And E4 has been sitting over there for the entire time. And now he has to hide. He has to evade all the artillery shots. Um, I do not know if RT is fast enough reacting uh, to Ivan's position as well. Because at the moment they were focusing down that Mouse. Uh, sitting over here is super risky, Ivan is not spotted anymore, so I would keep moving, and that was, hmm, that was either AP round from the FE-405, or blind shot from um, T-110 E4, uh, okay, that had to be FE-405 uh, shot, because E4 moved in to take one shot into the mouse, nice, 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 Mouse should be able to deal with him easily. This is really good uh, that we have Mouse still alive. A batchet artillery is not going to deal too much damage to Mouse. Uh, stun effect is going to be super annoying, yes, of course, but. Um, if I have uh, tested out Badget Artillery on the test server, for example, uh, because I do not have it myself, but uh, versus mouse versus tanks like E100, sometimes uh, even with a direct hit you deal zero damage, so this is how I know it. So, yeah, really good that we have Mouse still alive. Ooh, Badget Artillery lining up on the minimap. That shot might have been a hit, actually, but 140 did a good job picking him up and uh, going back to evade FE-425, but no, there is no escaping from the FE-425, so Ivan has to do something finally. Ivan decided to move in, meanwhile Odin in the mouse picked up E4. So uh, Ivan is going after that FE-425, or maybe artillery as well. It is two versus two, so let's speed up a little bit, let's see how it goes. Every single vehicle left in this battle is a potential one-shot, because FE-425, if he can penetrate mouse, uh, mouse is a one-shot as well. So two minutes left on the clock. Still 11 HP left, over 13,000 damage done already, which is crazy amount of damage, crazy amount of damage, and only one kill, guys. This is another really significant thing. Here is the second kill, and uh, with that kill, he was able to cross over 14,000 damage, but here is one AV405 still left to destroy, who is being spotted, I think, by that mouse. And now I want you not be spotted anymore. Let's see where that FE aims. Oh yes, FE is not aiming towards you, so you can be sneaky and you can put that final hash round into that final FE 405. Penetration 1208 damage done. And with that shot, ladies and gentlemen, you just watched the highest damage battle ever in the world of tanks. In a legit way, in FE 4005 stage 2. Congratulations, Ivan. Congratulations. Well done. So, for this battle, getting only three kills, actually, he was able to get Ace Tanker, High Caliber, and Confederate. That is it. And, of course, beautiful, beautiful victory girls. 15,000. 269 damage done in total, 3 kills, 1702 raw experience. Compare this damage to the second place guys. By the way, platoon mate, uh, 2399 damage. 15 freaking thousand damage in 15 versus 15 battle. Full tier 10 battle as well of course. Shots fired, 16. Direct hits, 15. Penetrations, 7. What else interesting? Uh, enemy vehicles damaged, maybe. 13 out of 15. Not bad. Only two guys didn't meet with Ivan's shell. And he didn't make any profit. He actually lost 31,000 credits. Because, you know, he was playing this battle with premium hash. Because both vehicles, TDF Barn and TDF Star, are made for the premium hash memes. So, ladies and gentlemen, this was my today's battle to you. I hope it was entertaining. I hope you are entertained now. This is my main goal over here. Over 15,000 damage battle in random battles. This is something you do not see every single day. 
I catch you next time with something else. Stay tuned, hitting that subscribe button, hit that like button if you enjoy my stuff, leave a comment, hit that bell button. You have so much stuff to do, so I better shut up now and leave you to it. Love you all, stay awesome, take care, and bye.